Have you ever wondered what it would be like to step foot on a planet in another galaxy? Imagine a journey spanning two and a half million light years across the cosmic void to our closest galactic neighbor, the Andromeda Galaxy. Our vehicle for this extraordinary voyage is a spacecraft powered by the very same force that fuels the stars, nuclear fusion. To reach Andromeda, we have to harness the power of the stars themselves. Our journey to Andromeda is powered by nuclear fusion propulsion. Imagine the sun, a natural fusion reactor, burning with immense energy. We've harnessed this process, where hydrogen atoms collide to form helium, releasing an incredible amount of energy. This energy is not only efficient, but also clean, reducing the burden of waste disposal. It's like having a miniature sun powering our spaceship, pushing us towards the vast expanse of the cosmos. Like a miniature sun, our engine propels us towards the stars. On a century-long journey, our spaceship must become a second Earth. It's a microcosm of our home planet designed for sustainability and the longevity of life. The Habitat Ring, our living quarters, is a marvel of engineering, a testament to human ingenuity. Its design facilitates life support systems that emulate Earth's own biosphere, integrating hydroponics and recycling systems to sustain human life and the ecosystems we rely on. The concept of artificial gravity, achieved by the rotation of the Habitat Ring, anchors us to a familiar force, making this spaceship feel less alien, more like home. But life aboard this spaceship is not just about survival it's about thriving evolving growing over generations the human population and the microbiome we carry will adapt change and evolve new norms will emerge new cultures will form in this vessel humanity and its microscopic companions evolve together charting a path for life beyond the confines of our earth as we approach our destination we prepare to adapt to a new world the crimson hue of the Andromedan skies, different from our earthly blues, is a testament to the alien yet fascinating environment we are about to call home. The gravity here is stronger, a constant reminder of the unfamiliar terrain under our feet. Yet this is the world we chose to explore, to understand and to inhabit. But as we adjust to the new world, we also grapple with a peculiar phenomenon, time dilation. As our spacecraft travels at near light speeds, time aboard our vessel stretches. For each year we've journeyed, significantly more has passed back on Earth. We have become temporal voyagers existing in a unique time frame, forever in a dance with the cosmos. The journey to Andromeda is not just about traversing the physical distance, but also navigating the intricacies of time and space. Bound by relativity, we dance with the cosmos. After a century of travel, we are on the brink of a new era for humanity. We have journeyed far, far beyond what our ancestors could have ever imagined. We've harnessed the power of the stars, created a microcosm of Earth within a spaceship, and outsmarted the constraints of time and space. We've watched generations born and raised in the cosmos, evolving alongside our vessel's internal ecosystem. We've adapted to the laws of celestial mechanics and prepared ourselves to embrace a world bathed in a crimson hue within the grasp of a stronger pull. The culmination of our journey is not just about reaching a new galaxy, but about the milestones we've achieved along the way. It's about the triumph of human spirit, the relentless pursuit of knowledge and the audacity to dream beyond our own lifetimes. As the spacecraft approaches Andromeda, we stand on the threshold of a new world, a new home, and a new understanding of our place in the universe.